Columbia High School, there's one thing that haunts students the most. And school leaders reported an increase in fear of academic failure, 76%, and depression, 55%, among their pupils in the period since 2014. These tests take dedication, patience, and time. 8 out of 10 primary school leaders, 82%, who took part in the survey, seen exclusively by The Guardian, reported an increase in mental health issues among primary school children around the time of the exams. Watch to find out how students really feel about these tests. How well do you think standardized tests measure your abilities? Um, not well at all, because I think that one test can't determine your ability. The scores are necessarily that representative of a student's overall academic ability. There are plenty of people who I know who are some of the smartest people I know by that are just god-awful at taking tests. So they go in there, they bomb the test. There are plenty of people that I know that are dumb as hammers, but spent thousands and thousands of dollars on tutors to teach them how to take the test. They go in, they take the test, they get a great grade on the test. Is that representative of that student's academic performance? Not in the least. So. Um, I don't think they do very well, especially because of like economic reasons. People can just pay for tutors and stuff. So it definitely gives like um, wealthier kids an advantage. Um, I think standardized tests measure certain abilities. I think um, depending on what's being tested, I think they could be good with mathematic, logical, and uh, like verbal skills, but I think there is a lot that it doesn't measure. What do you think about people cheating on high stakes tests? I don't think that that's okay. I don't think it's fair because there are kids who work so hard to try and get good, good scores on those tests and then um, people just cheat their way through and I don't think it's fair. The National Center for Fair and Open Testing issued a report that tallies cases of cheating on standardized tests in 37 states across the country. I mean, obviously it should be sort of condemned and it should be uh, sort of dealt with and punished, but on the other hand, you got to understand why they're doing it. And that's because that these tests often, in many cases, decide people's lives. I think it's not cool. Um, I think that even if they aren't necessarily valid and reliable, I think they're still being used to grant access to something. So I think cheating just really doesn't work. Do you think students are put under too much pressure to perform well in a state-mandated test? Um, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yes. I think so, because I always hear from my parents, like, you know, study for this big test and, you know, determine your, like, future. And it's, I feel like there's just such a, like, a weight. It's so, such a heavy, like, um, I don't know the word, but it's like a pressure. Yes, and I personally, like, I'm being, like, a senior, like, I've already taken the SAT, and I think that the pressure is ridiculous and that it's just not fair, like, that one test should, like, mean so much. Yes, I think that's why so many people, like, cheat on them and try to get an advantage. I do, but I don't think it's just these tests. I think that students are put under so much pressure with so many things, with extracurricular involvement, with performance in their classes, in their AP classes, and thus eventually their tests later. Do you think standardized tests should influence the college admissions process as much as it does now? Um... No, I don't think it should because, like I said, I don't think these tests can determine someone, like the amount of knowledge that someone has or how well they can do. No, I don't think that it should influence as much as it does because someone could get like really good grades and then not do so well on like the SAT or the ACT and it could like influence them getting into college, which I don't think is fair. Yes, they do, they, they are, they do serve a purpose and that, that purpose should probably be a little bit curtailed until we can figure out how to reform the test to make it more fair to all people who are taking the exam. No, I think that test optional schools are better because they like give people the choice to choose if they want to submit their scores or not. Of the 2 million plus SAT tests taken in any given year, approximately 4,000 scores are canceled because of suspected cheating. Northwest Evaluation Association found that 70% of teachers' surveys feel that focus on high-stakes testing takes too much time away from learning. 
SAT scores help colleges interpret students' overall academic performance in relation to the national applicant pool. Because of this, many schools are now becoming Emerson College, the George Washington University, Wesleyan University, University of Chicago, Wake Forest University, James Madison University, Loyola University, Maryland, Marist College, Ithaca College.